Hey guys, it's Noble9121 here, showing how to use PPF patches and make them. First, you want to go to Google Play Store. And you want to type in Unipatcher. It'll be this one right here. You're just going to want to install that. Next, you want, yeah, next you're going to want to go get a patch. You're going to want to find a patch file. Um, look it up on YouTube. Um, patches, you know, Ocarina of Time patches, download, um, look on Google. Try to check out some mod Zelda modding forums and stuff. Um, Anyways, you're going to want to go and open this. You want to get this. And you want to grab a debug ROM. You're just going to want a ROM file. Um, so if you wanted to use the 1.0 version and you had like a patch for that. But most patches are designed for the debug ROM. So you're just going to want to find a... You're going to want to find the debug ROM and download it. After that, you put the ROM file there, and you like after you have your patch file, you want down, you want to want to put it on. Then you're gonna hit patch. If all works out, it'll say appalling patch. And if everything works, we'll have a working patch. You can open it. The, then you open up your emulator. Sorry, I'm still have a bit open. Um, then you want to grab it, so unless you renamed it, it was probably it'll be in your downloads folder, or wherever it put. It'll probably be in your download folder, and you'll go and go just hit start. This this debug ROM here is very unstable for patching, so there's a chance there's gonna be glitches. My debug ROM doesn't work well. I forget where I got my my original ROM that I always do my 3DS stuff on. I got from a YouTube video, so it's it's I, I it came with those patches. And once it's patched, you'll notice that everything worked. It looked nice. You'll have your sword, but of course. If you're doing something like 3DS Link, so if you have 3DS Link, like I do here, you have to get the texture pack. That ROM, as that patch, I never, I never got that patch to work. So I'm probably just going to remove that from the library and gonna delete it off my files. But anyways, I'm actually gonna get rid of it, but. That's just a basic demonstration on how you would patch and whatnot. First get patch file, then you get a ROM. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Noble9121 ending the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.